Spot, the robotic dog who can save lives in disaster zones where humans can't go. Or Yumi, a virtual assistant for factory workers, powered by artificial intelligence. And then there's this bionic pneumatic arm that can help patients rehabilitate or assist the elderly. But mainly it's been designed to replace human labor. We're doing industry, industrial automation and there's placing parts from a belt into a pallet or some stuff like this. Easy, simple things where in our world today you don't find staff anymore. It really cannot really replace a human being. But it relieves human beings that they are free for the more complex tasks which only humans are able to do. More than 4,000 companies are displaying their latest inventions and innovations at the Hanover Messe. Large businesses and startups are all competing to use the greenest sources of energy and most climate neutral technologies. This is the so called bionic cell factory. It's designed as a blueprint for fusing technology with natural processes. The machine takes CO2 out of the air and with the biomass from natural algae, which then can be used, for example, as an energy source or as a food supplement. New technologies meant to make the world better and safer and many using artificial intelligence. Like this vertical farm where AI is used to optimize the quality of every single leaf. But big conglomerates like German giant Siemens also have concerns about the rise of AI, especially for personal use. ChatGPT has huge opportunities, but it's developing so fast, we need to make sure that we're also balancing the benefits and the dangers. The good thing is if you apply AI in the industrial environment, it's not your personal data, it's, it's industrial data which you work with. So I think AI in the industrial space will be safer than actually in the consumer space. Two, one. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz opened a trade fair together with Indonesian President Joko Widodo. Indonesia, this year's partner country, aims to attract German investors to produce batteries using its large nickel reserves. We have discussed industrial downstreaming and energy transition. I had talks with Volkswagen and other German companies about green energy and electric car batteries. Battery technology is one of the fastest growing markets worldwide and a dominating theme at the fair. But visitors are mostly captivated by the new developments in AI like this machine that can learn how to pick up any small object. A robot that can do what its maker calls boring work.